Hey everyone, welcome back to Kenshi. We are playing again as Tank Face today in episode 8. We just got a new weapon. Uh, it's a little bit heavy for Tank Face to wield, so uh, we're going to have to give him some combat training. Uh, as his strength increases, he should be able to swing this blade a little faster, but as we saw in the last episode, he's swinging it ex extremely slowly. So it's going to be a little bit of an uphill battle for him to uh, use this weapon. Well, we're going to see what we can do today. We're going to get him healed up and back in the fight here at the Kral's Chosen Camp and see if we can take Flying Bull in for a bounty. And as we are resting up here, it looks like a Hiver group has come in to trade and realized that the Kral's Chosen are hostile, so they're also going to get into the fight. There's basically just going to be a bunch of bodies in the Kral's Chosen base, and uh, hopefully we'll just waltz in, grab... Uh, flying Bull and just walk out and turn him in for a bounty. Uh, it looks like the Trader's Guild is leaving. Uh, it appears that all of Kral's Chosen have been knocked out so that people are actually coming and going as they please without fighting. Oh, here we go, there's some more fighting. We're just patiently waiting for Tank Face to stand up once he's healed. We really got to get Tank Face some better armor as well, so we will be trading some things to get some money for better armor. I do want to see if we can make it up to Black Desert to uh, get some better uh, crossbows and maybe a better sidearm as well. Oh boy. It looks like there's more crawls chosen. Okay, it looks like all of our support is leaving. Or at least most of it. Okay, now that we have Tank Face fully healed, let's go ahead and head back in. We're gonna pack up our bag here. Oops. Uh, let's go ahead and dismantle, pick it back up. And let's head back inside. animals passed away. That's too bad. And hopefully Tank Face will increase his strength pretty rapidly here, fighting with a very heavy weapon. There we are. Okay, so he doesn't have any equipment, at least for healing himself. All right. Looks like nomads are getting healed up. Lots of dead animals. Let's go ahead and heal up some of these nomads. Okay, so his weapon is gone. Let's see if we can help out with the fight here. them of their weapons and their med kits. Alright, let's see if flying bulls up here. Okay. So most of these guys now are disarmed. Got a few more crawls chosen to disarm. Don't see Flying Bull though, he might be outside. Let's see how this Nomad is doing. He's healing up, that's great. Let's grab the med kit off of this guy. And his weapon. 
so now we have a much better chance at uh, walking out of here. Uh, it shows this wandering assassin is shopping. I don't know where he's shopping. Maybe he's shopping all these crates. Uh, let's fight this guy. Come on, tank face. Get a good hit on him. There we go. Nice job. Grab his stuff. The more soldiers we disarm, the better the chances are of us walking out of here with a flying bull. I don't see him. Oh, I hope the Traders Guild didn't walk off with him. I didn't actually notice if they did or not. Still a little fighting in here. Now that we have a lighter weapon, we should be doing a lot better. Yeah. This is much, much better than the uh, main weapon that we have. At least for a uh, tank base right now, it's a lot faster. Alright, we are just wrecking this guy with this. Saber. All right. Oh, that was really effective, actually. Okay, so let's just keep that on us for now. There we go. It's interesting that these guys are training while these guys are getting their ass kicked here. all very good training for tank face these higher level enemies what a difference when you change weapons it's like night and day as far as combat effectiveness really just got to get his strength up to use that long cleaver and he'll be good to go Drop this other one as well. Okay. Let's go fight this guy. Let's see if we can get him off the bed. No. I like how this guy's just sitting here eating while his friend's getting uh, beaten up in the back. And now he's training. literally just sitting here watching his friend get beaten up on it. So strange.
lot of these guys are probably going to end up dying because they don't have a way to heal themselves now. Now we just need to find a flying bull somewhere. Hopefully he's still around. Hopefully these nomads are going to run around healing themselves. Don't see Flying Bull anywhere. Oh, here he is. Looks like he's knocked out, so that's a really good sign that we will be able to take off with him. Might as well just take off his gear. I don't know if it counts towards your carry weight, but if it does, don't need anything heavy on him. He can just be naked. And we'll go turn him in for a bounty. And I think we have been successful at, um, with some help, successful at taking out this camp and getting some good loot. Uh-oh. just wrecking these guys now. Hopefully his uh, skill with the long cleaver is improving. I think it is. It does look like he's swinging it slightly faster. I don't know what I'd do without these assassins and nomads. They really helped us a lot in this fight. Would have taken so much longer to take out this base without them. Let's see if I can help the remaining survivors by disarming this next group of uh, crawls chosen here. Hopefully everybody else makes it out without much issue. I don't think there's many armed soldiers in here, so let's just do one more sweep and we'll take off. Now well, it looks like we're going to get into a bit of a fight here. Probably won't be too much of a challenge for Tank Face, especially since he's disarmed. Okay. Let's see what we have here. This guy's still a little weak. Doesn't look like there's much in this place. Some money. a chance to unlock that. I wonder if we have any tools. Don't think we do yet. Hopefully his strength goes up pretty dramatically here. He really needs to be able to swing that weapon a lot faster. Alright, let's see what's upstairs. 
Let's see if there's anything good in these uh, barrels. Ah, some food. Why not? We're going to need all the food we can get. Because we will not be farming on this playthrough. Bandage. Ooh. Empty grog. Oh, if that was full, it would be worth a decent amount of money. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and head up to Admag and turn in Flying Bull for a bounty. Let's see if we need to help this guy heal himself. Nope. Oh, he's crippled, though. One thing we have to watch out for heading back up to Admag is the uh, roaming bands of uh, bandits and also skin spiders. The bad thing about skin spiders is they will eat you once you're down, so we have to be careful not to get knocked out around the skin spiders. And the other nice thing is Tank Face's strength is training a little faster now that he's carrying someone. So we should see his strength climb here. And that'll also help him swing his main weapon a little faster. Just as I suspected, there are skin spiders in the area. Uh, this guy is solo. Man, they are just really weird looking. I really like their design. It's really cool looking. So we don't want to attract this guy's attention. Let's see if we can just wait for him to crawl onward. And then we'll run up to the gates. Even though Tank Face is pretty tough, these guys have a very high attack damage rating, so they can take Tank Face down in just a few hits. You want to be pretty careful around Skin Spiders and Blood Spiders. All right. Go back to normal speed, and we'll head up and turn in. Flying ball. Let's see who's fighting. It's like a trader's guild card. So let's turn in Flying Ball for a bounty. Alright, so we got the reward for Flying Ball. And we get a little bit of a unique dialogue from his uh, Sheik brethren. And reputation should be a little bit higher with Shek. Yes, it is. Cool. Alright, so Tank Face does need to train a little bit more with his heavy weapons. So we're going to head back into the Borderland area or the Border Zone. And we're going to fight some more um, Hungry Bandits. And then we're going to head up and get some better armor. Before we do, we, we want to sell off what we have. Because it is pretty heavy. So we're going to go ahead and wait until daytime. And let's see. 
let's visit our armor shop and the camping store. Probably wouldn't hurt to get a third backpack, but I think we'll wait until our strength is a little bit higher. Let's go ahead and get rid of the weapons we're not going to use. pretty good and there's nothing really here that we need immediately we are gonna need a repair kit at some point but we'll probably find some of those along the way okay let's check out the armor shop and then we will wrap it up for today so pretty run-of-the-mill stuff similar to what the other check uh, town has. Nothing really that I want. Okay. Let's go ahead and sell off our rum. And we don't really need the bread either. Okay. Alright, so let's head up north and grab some better armor. So next episode we are going to head up north and grab some better armor and we will head east from there and grab a better crossbow and maybe a better sidearm and we'll pick it up from there. Oh, looks like uh, the Shek are checking our bags, that's fine. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed. This was a fun episode. Lots of combat and uh, lots of upgrades and we'll see you next time. Take care.